Do you need to bring in a little more money, but you're not sure where to start? A great place to turn is to creating a side hustle. But first, let's break down what a side hustle is. A side hustle is a great way to make some extra cash for whatever reason you might need it for. There are two different kinds of side hustles. One is a scalable one, and the other one isn't. One is fun, and the other one usually isn't for most people. Let's break them down. The first one is an active income where you get a part-time job to get more money. This way is usually easier to get right away because it's active, which means in order to get paid, you need to put the time in consistently, you need to show up somewhere. Definitely not your own boss, not in charge of your time. Most people live this way most of their lives. It's often sold as the safer bet. The second kind of side hustle is called a passive income. At first, you still need to put the work in up front, but once it's going, it usually requires little to no work to keep it operating. This approach takes a bit more time to scale because you often are starting a business. Even in the building stages of the business, you can still schedule things as you see fit. Work when no one is watching kind of thing. Once it's operating like a business, you can start something else or keep scaling until you're a full-time hustle. It's up to you. A great thing about being your own boss is that you can control a little more of your future. Picking a side hustle you like and are passionate about is pretty important because you'll be doing it a lot probably for a while. You have to make sure it's gonna make you a little bit more money, make sure it's fulfilling, and make sure it's flexible. Welcome to Inspired Wallets. New videos are added every week. If you like educational videos on finance, then please subscribe and like. Here are the seven side hustles you can start right now. One, thumbnail creator. To someone not too familiar with the video thumbnail culture, this might seem like it's not really that big of a deal, but it is. The hardest part is always grabbing the attention of the viewer. It needs to say what the video is about in a few simple graphics or words. It needs to make sense within two seconds or you might not get clicked. It can be very frustrating to someone who has a brilliant video with no views. If you have the skill yourself, then put it out there. There is a lot of YouTubers and businesses looking for great thumbnail creators. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Two, script writer. We can't forget most of the time, the majority of the ideas and foundation for a product or production is done in the writing stages. This could be for a movie, a play, or could be for a YouTube video. Blogs are a huge deal for a lot of businesses, but often they don't write it themselves, they hire someone to do it for them. Blogs are a great way to bring more people back to the business for more sales. People are often hired to do research, there are teams behind the big companies. When the company puts out content daily, then you need a group of people with a set amount of jobs. It's absolutely endless on what you could write for. If you got it, Flaunt it. You are needed somewhere with someone. Three, video editor. Anyone that has spent a lot of time creating content for videos knows how time consuming it is just to edit a short video. That first 30 seconds as a YouTube creator are critical to keeping the viewer watching till the end. It takes skill and patience to be able to tell a story with film, to keep the attention. Not everyone wants to do this, or they might not have the time to learn the skills needed. Not to mention the software and hardware isn't cheap. If you are an editing ninja, this might be a great avenue for you. A lot of big influencers would be lost without their editors. Everything you watch on YouTube or TV has been edited. AI isn't gonna take this job away anytime soon. There will always be new opportunities when it comes to being creative. Four, web designer. If you come to the table with web designing skills, then you could make a killing doing this. There is a website for everything. This work can be reoccurring as well because the company might need updates added. They might have new branding and require the website to be redone. Sometimes someone just needs a one-time website that's simple that you will get paid once. It all depends. Regardless, if you have the skills, then go for it. If you have created some sites already, then start putting the word out on social media. Maybe make your own websites to show off your skills to help you get clients specific to industry. For example, each site could be in a different style you have saved as a template to create sites for new clients. It's much quicker that way. What industries do you know? Are you into sports, music, or finance? Once you have some done, start emailing some people you might think need your services. If your work is good, you will get work. Five, YouTube channel. Starting a channel isn't as easy as most videos on YouTube say it is. Getting monetized in a month with 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours isn't easy. Most people give up before they get there because it's harder than it looks. The first hurdle is when uploading your first video might only get less than 10 views and no subscribers. 
It takes on average six months to a year to get monetized between 50 to 100 videos. Most creators upload once a week. Better to upload once a week consistently than to upload every day for a week than nothing for a month. The algorithm doesn't like that. Being monetized basically means you get paid for advertisers putting ads on your videos. You get 45% of the profits from ads. If they approve you, of course. So be careful to stay within the YouTube guidelines. The last thing you want to do is get to that point with your YouTube channel and then they just reject you. Along the way, there will also be other avenues with the YouTube channel to generate money. Once you are monetized, you can sell merchandise like t-shirts directly from your YouTube channel through a third party called Printify. You upload designs to Printify, choose the product, color, price, and link that to your YouTube channel. It takes a bit to get the price and everything, but once you do, this is a set it and forget it kind of thing. This kind of a side hustle is called print on demand. Last but not least is being paid to sponsor a company. This is where you can make the most money, but be careful the companies you push because it could come back on you in a negative way. Best to stick with things that are relevant to your channel. Make sure to do your research on the company. Six, online courses. This one is great because you make it once and sell it forever. The hardest part about courses is creating them. There are a few things that could help. First, research to see what is needed. Create something you know a lot about that isn't saturated with courses on the same thing. Second, creating the content. Recording, video recording, and editing. If you are new to video editing, hiring an editor will go a long way. And third, you need a good community to release it to. You won't sell it if no one knows about it. Or if you try to sell it to the wrong people. Are you a blogger? A content creator? For YouTube? Or just someone new to side hustles? Again, what skills do you have? Make a list and make sure it's something everyone wants. Ask your community. They will tell you. Either way, if you got your brand or your company this far, you deserve a high five. And seven, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is another great hustle that can help you generate monthly income. Another one that takes a little bit to build up, but it's worth it. Basically, you get links for people to click to buy products. When the viewer purchases through the link, you get a small commission. A lot like the online courses, you need to sell it to a community. If you are into personal finance, then maybe have a link for them to purchase stocks and crypto. Link in the description. This can be specific to each blog or video or social media post. You can have more than one if needed. Popular sites for affiliate marketing is Amazon, Best Buy, and ClickBank. Link also in description. Very different sites, but offer very different products. Everything from household items to recording equipment. It's no accident that these side hustles are listed together and that they're in the order that they're in. Using these seven side hustles together could create a machine of income. It will take time to piece it all together, but when you do and it's all working smoothly together, it will be brilliant. It will most likely change your life. Just start now and small. Build consistently over time. It's amazing what we can achieve in five to ten years. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, ring the bell for future notifications, and make sure to subscribe. Do you have a side hustle not listed here that you think is relevant? Leave it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, you might also find this video helpful. The 7 best side hustles that make $100 plus per day. If you would like to see more on the subject. Thank you for watching.